That's what religion does. It makes you sit attentively listening, but you don't know how to put it into practice. It stays in your head. It never drops into your heart. So I, I want to I just, as we move forward, I want to get into some preface here and do this. One, never take or never get your eyes off Jesus. Listen to me. Never get your eyes off Jesus onto a person you perceive more anointed than you. Come on. Right. Right. Amen. You will see, Casey, you will see singers and musicians and you'll say, man, they're better than I am. That is it. That, you need to understand what spirit you're listening to. That preacher is further along or more anointed. There is no one in this room more anointed than the other person. You just have not understood what the anointing is and how it works in your okay, life. Come on. We are all equal in this room in Christ. There's no skin color issue. There is no, there is no financial economical status issue. There is no job issue. In the kingdom of God, we are all equal and the same in Christ. It is your perception of who you are that determines if someone's further along than you. Someone may be further along than you. It's okay. But don't allow taking your eyes off Jesus and putting it onto someone you think is more anointed to you or putting yourself into a situation where you feel that you need to do some type of activity. Come on. In order to get God to hear and move on your behalf. Right, when right. you take your eyes off Jesus to, and you look at someone else, then you say they're more anointed to you, or you take your eyes and put it on some religious event or activity that you got to do something to get God to move, you're already in trouble. How does this play out? When you think that if I can just get someone to pray for me, this is going to be fixed. 